360 definitely is a camera that's a tool in our bag that is really interesting. You have this entire world of vision, I guess, and it's up to you to kind of pick and choose where you want versus the traditional 2D camera where that lens has to be pointed at a specific target for it to obviously be filming. So this is actually the file that comes out of GoPro's cameras. A new item, start a sequence. Uh, let's say we're just gonna start with the YouTube. So I have presets already made. I'm gonna go 4K image, 3840 by 2160. So essentially there's our sequence. Uh, let's grab that file now. We're gonna toss that in here. Say keep existing settings. And you're gonna see that it has black bars right now. So it's here in effects. And I'm gonna look up GoPro FX reframe. There it is. So this is the plugin that GoPro has created, and this is what's gonna allow us to basically rotate this image freely, do everything we want with it. So once it's tossed on, you're gonna see it's unrendered. I'm gonna go up here to effects controls, and this is where we're gonna start here is on the source image. So your end goal is gonna be a 69, 38, 40 by 21, 60. Let's so go ahead and choose that. So these are all sliders that are gonna dictate where you look. If I slide them, you're gonna see as the camera moves up and down. Uh, rotate, obviously, and rotate, and then your zoom feature here. I adjust the, the zoom to 50. We're gonna start with basically reframing the position back to his face. And what I do is I actually go through here and just start with clicking these all on. At point A, I want it to be here. At point B, I want it to be there. And then Adobe does whatever magic, you know, voodoo they do to make sure everything in between is, is matched up to those and it does the camera movements for you. But basically there is this fancy little feature and it's only when you click the actual plugin title. So there's boxes that exist on the outside here and they all have to do with something, whether it's, I think this is rotate on the sides. The top one is actually gonna be zoom. And then everything in the middle is really where you want it. And you can see it's actively dropping keyframes in here. So I think at that point, I'm gonna switch him around. And maybe I wanna zoom out at this point. So we're gonna add a little bit of fun to this. You see it, maybe some more handlebars. As we're going through this, if you watch it pretty closely, the, the turns and the keyframes are pretty sharp at this point. And these are because these are linear keyframes. Tighter the keyframes are together, the more you'll notice these like jitters in a way. The next steps here after this would be totally keyframed out is we're gonna highlight everything. You're gonna right click on it, go to continuous bezier. So basically I go through each of these and I'm basically just trying to smooth these out. I go through each of these little, what do you call them, handles, and you're gonna drag these out essentially. So this is a 916 sequence. As you can see, it's a little too close and I wanna readjust it. All I would do is go back to the plugin here. So I'd make sure that clip is clicked. I'd go back to projection and then I would choose that 916. And what you'll actually see it do there, let me undo so you can see. Yeah. It's gonna actually adjust it properly to have the projection to match the 916. Like let's say we do go in here and we want him to flip insanely fast into this shot. What you'd actually have to do is set all your keyframes properly. And then you'd wanna go here and actually nest this clip. And that kind of like bakes the 360 in. And now let's say we wanna speed ramp him from here to the jump maybe. So I'm gonna go right click on this little FX square. You get a time remap and go to speed. So if you double click into this like little gray area here, it's gonna make the box bigger. And that's gonna show me my like speed line basically. So you're gonna go to the pen tool. You're gonna drop a keyframe here. And maybe let's say I want it to like end right here. So I'm gonna drop it there. And then from there, you really drag this up, however many percent you want it to speed ramp. And then if you want to ease that out, you know, I drag these little handles out. Boom. The lens curve, all that's going to do is actually take that bubble effect away. So if you did want to take this and make it look like a traditional 2D image, you absolutely could do that. You know, you'd zoom in, you probably pull this lens curve out and what you can see it doing is it's affecting the sides there. And that's essentially just bringing that like bubble fisheye aspect back to the 2D world. That's where the benefit comes in is it's full stabilization because you have the full world where it's stabilizing. That's why this footage looks so smooth. Thank you so much. Uh, it's absolutely a huge pleasure and hopefully we get you back on here. Thanks. Yeah. Thank you guys.